and welcome to the planet. Welcome to the atmosphere. My name once again is Crafkins the Brave, and tonight we are playing some Trail Makers on Rockstar Saturday. What? Uh, yeah, we're not doing that this time. We're playing uh, next time. Uh, this time we want to finish those Hydro Thunder boats we've been working on, and maybe even start a new one. Maybe get some more glorious shots in our MIG. I gotta turn my heater down. I think it's coming through the stream. Um, but yeah, we got some good stuff to do today. Uh, and I can't wait to share this time with you guys and have these awesome moments so we can do some cool montages with them. That'll be fun. We're going to go into Sandbox, and let's see. Treasure Island's a good spot to do all this stuff. We're going to make sure the boats work. Um, and I think I figured out how to update the blueprints on the Steam Workshop. Not positive, uh, but I think I did. And so uh, once we get everything squared away on our Hydro Thunder boats, uh, we'll update their blueprints and get them up there so you guys can hang out and do that with your friends and have a good old time racing in them. Try to get them all up to the same spec or something something similar. Uh, I did a little bit of work on them already. Uh, I think I think that was, let's see. I don't remember. Doesn't matter. But yeah, did a little work on them. And uh, we're trying to get the, I think we were trying to get the Tidal Blade up to spec. Not sure. We got the Cutthroat going though. So let's, let's bring these up and put them into our um, our transformation menu. And then we'll bring up the Tidal Blade and just print that one out. Uh, and we'll make sure that uh, this is going to do the thing. I've been experimenting with gimbals and trying to see if that can reduce drag in the water. Um, these are definitely um, heavy boats, and so that drag builds up over time and kind of causes problems. So we've got everything set to... A for boost on this, and it comes up to 114. I bet I could do better. Hey, man, how, how you doing? Um, just trying to bring these boats up to spec. And then I think I figured out how to update stuff on the workshop. Let's see. Did I have this in my history still? Yeah, right here. Uh, let's try this one. Yeah, I was gonna do some, uh, I was gonna do Rockstar Saturday, but I thought to myself, I wanted to do this, um, and get all these boats really squared away, because, um, okay, yeah, I moved this, everything's on RT now. So let's see, that's got... A lot less drag in the water, but then our nose dips. I don't like that. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I don't like that at all. So that's not great. That nose dipping like that isn't isn't a wonderful thing. I wonder what I can. I already have stabilizers in there. <coughs> let's see. And if I can remember, quite a few. Uh, that guy doesn't even have to be there. Delete that guy. And then we should put some more flotation up front right here. Hey, how was your birthday, man? Hope it was good. Hope the birthday was good. All right, let's see. Does 
Does that help? I guess that flotation helps a little bit. I don't know if that's even helping. We're rocking back and forth, and I don't dig it. Right on. Hope it was a great day. Let's see here we got. We got a lot of rocking back and forth. When the boat is rocking, it's not good. See, we don't want to. Uh, hmm. Maybe take these out. I don't know if they're really doing anything good. They might just be weighing me down. Just wait for this thing to level itself out here and then go and see what happens. All right, we are at top speed right now at 118. We are a little more stable, though. Uh, yeah, that turn was great. That turn was incredible. We didn't, we didn't dip our nose down or anything. We're rocking again afterwards, and I don't like that at all. That's some bullshit. don't like that. I think this is going to be the hardest one, actually. Uh, I think it's, you know... I think it's in the in the stones for this one to be a rough one. Uh, let's see. We want we want it to go as far forward as possible. Let's move this one two spaces back. Uh, do we even need this? Is this necessary? Yeah, I don't know. I, I, we lose... <clears throat> the problem with that is we lose speed when it's rocking. So if I can stabilize that... Um, if I can stabilize that... Let's see. 93. Let's try this one. Hold on. Let me, let me try this one real quick. If I can stabilize that, um, it would be most ideal. can't remember um, I can't remember which one was the one that was the more successful of these uh, that I was working on last time but I know we definitely hit uh, we hit a a plateau That nose dipping under the water like that is a real bitch. I don't dig that. Not at all. Dumb. Dumb. Alright, so that wasn't it. I'm just going back to this one. And just because I don't want to deal with the glitches that could happen, I'm, I'm going to do this real quick. I didn't even mean to double print that. So, this one's at 118 of 119. All right, and then <clears throat> how can we, we can, um, we can add, wait, let's, let's check, let's check our weight. Forces, oh, forces is already on our stuff again. It's blending in with the existing red. Uh, so we've got it right there in the center. That's actually pretty good for dead center. Um, 
Our thrust is a little high. That pushes our nose down. We don't want that. But I mean, what are we going to do with that? So it is what it is. Um, and then, let's see. Hmm. Well, I suppose we could bring this one down. Oh, just one thing? Or like, I got a list. <laughs> uh, yeah. I think that, uh, I think that, <clears throat> that there's, there's a lot left to improve, personally. Uh, um, the fact that we don't that we don't have pirates in the water um, is is bothersome to me, or at least on an island, you know, in the high seas expansion. Yet we have robot pirates in the airborne DLC. What? Explain that to me, Lucy. Explain that. Right? And then so okay, that is just kind of the start, right? Of of the things that like frustrate me right so like okay people have been asking for a one a one by one block and accompanying wedges for that shit since like day freaking one the answer has always been go fuck yourselves and like you know if there's one real thing that i could change about trail makers it would be the devs i would make it so that um and this is fighting fighting words, and I don't give a fuck. I would make it so that um, Microsoft owned it, because then they would just give us the shit we wanted, because that's what happened with fucking Minecraft. When Microsoft took over Minecraft, people got what they wanted. They have all kinds of shit there now, right? My daughter was showing me the crap she makes in Minecraft. It's insane. And she's like, oh, yeah, look at all the new stuff they put in here. And they embrace the community's mods. They really do. And like it's, it a lot of cool stuff has been incorporated into the game. I don't even like Minecraft. Not even my game. Not my thing. I love what the community has done, uh, and I love you know the stuff that Microsoft has done with it on a bigger scale. I think having you know a small group of devs is the worst thing for a game like this because um, they just do what they want and uh, they do what they can. And that's not always, you know, that's not always what we want as the people who play the game and love the game and are super passionate about it. Um, I don't give a shit, you know? And, you know, it, it's, it's fine. And I've come to the understanding that it's not my game just because it's my favorite game. And they can continue to do what they want to do uh, because it's their game, and I just play it. And as long as I think about it like that, <clears throat> it's easier to keep my cool head about it. If I start thinking about it like what I would do if I had a game and I had a public outcry for something to be added to my game, then I get upset because it's like we're doing the comparison of what I would do versus what they're doing. And that's that's when things really aren't even fair for them, you know. Um, and so, um, you know, all, all fairness uh, intended, you know, I really think that there, there could be there could be a much a much better solution to how things are going right now in the game. I don't like the way I don't like the way the ships I don't like the way the ships being steered. So um, yeah, that's that's my best and most complete answer to that question. Yeah, crossplay would be a good thing too. Crossplay would be definitely on the list of things that could be added and relatively easily um, <clears throat> and it just takes uh, the right type of maintenance 
and uh, infrastructure. Um, and, you know, honestly, um, I think it's a I think it's a skill issue. Um, I don't think, um, you know, I don't think that, and I'm not trying to be a dick about it this time. You know, last time I was being a dick about it and not caring. This time, I just, this is what I honestly think. I just think they're not the most skilled game developers. Otherwise, they would do things. And they only know how to do what they know how to do. And... Um, and that's fine, because, I mean, I'm limited by my skill set, too. Um, but I mean, it's unfair to expect something from someone that can't give it to you. And so, like, at that point, you know, like, what am I, what am I really complaining about, you know? And so, if they're just working within their skill set, and they just simply can't, which is the only thing I could do to possibly reconcile the reason that they wouldn't give us what we've been asking for for frickin' ever um, as a community. Um, then it's 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 got to be something like that. It has to be. Um, and if it's not, then they're just jerks. It is what it is. Um, and it's a very simple way of looking at things. Sure, I know. And they can be like, well, you don't you don't know very much about game development, but I mean. If you have a game development company and you have the infrastructure and you have the resources and you have the developers and you have the people who know these these things, it's like, look, as a JavaScript developer, I can tell you right now, it's not easy to do a lot of shit. But with enough time, patience, and goddamn elbow grease, you can do fucking anything. And so, and that's just with JavaScript, right? And I'm not even like, I'm not even that skilled as a JavaScript developer. And I just, I just know you can do fucking most anything you want, almost anything you want in JavaScript. Uh, and they're like, you know, they're like, well, we can't, we can't add freaking pirates to the water because it would take too much work. No, it just sounds like you have a fucking either a skill issue, a resource issue, a management issue, or all of the above. I just really don't understand. It's 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 a complete lack of vision, a complete lack of direction, um, and and to be as frank as fucking possible, um, and as insensitive to other people's needs uh, or wants as possible. Um, you know, uh, I think that. I think that um, they're the worst thing about trail makers, and uh, I'm not trying to say that they're bad people. I just think that they're the they're the they're the worst working part of this entire operation um, because they just don't do the work. Like telling someone that they telling your customer that something is too much work. is you know is being is is not is not providing a good service or a good product uh, and it just you know it bothers me a one by one goddamn block would be the least that they could do for the amount of loyalty that people have given this game from 2018 they just seem spoiled to me and entitled, um, but like I said, it's not my game. I just, it's my favorite game, and uh, I wish it were better because they're really holding it back. Every day, every day that this game isn't sold to a bigger developer, it's being held back. Every single day. Yesterday, it was held back. Today, it's being held back. <clears throat> yeah, it's a great game. It is a great great game. It is a game that deserves to be sold to a good develop de good developer, a good development company, a studio that will really give it what it needs. Um, but they just don't. And it's, you know, it's a shameful thing. I know uh, if I were if I were part of Flashbulb, I would be ashamed 
because Trail Makers is just a fraction of what it could be with the proper team and development structure. And vision. Vision especially. Like, I really don't feel like there's any put into this. It's just, it's just whatever they feel like doing, and then they just do it. Um, and they just act like a bunch of stone teenagers. And it doesn't make sense to me. I mean, not to talk shit about stone teenagers. But like, yeah. They could do better. And they just don't. And being able to do better and choosing not to, I think, um, really, really paints a, a, a picture. But then I wouldn't get what I want, and that's to build dope boats. You know, like we're at an impasse. We're forever at the impasse, of, you know, in, in the mercy of trail makers, you know, development team until they sell. Which would be sick. I would love to see them sell to Microsoft. <clears throat> I would even buy a goddamn PlayStation if they sold to Sony. I don't care. I don't have platform loyalty. I don't even know why that was thought up, but you know, thought up in the first place. Whatever. Play what you want. It's all the same now, anyway. We got 130. I think we're getting all right. I think we're getting all right uh, performance out of this guy. Let's get back in the water here. Woo! Will it correct itself? We don't like the bobbings. The bobbings isn't good. One thirty, one forty, that's quick enough. The diving isn't good. See, I don't like that. I want to be able to make a fast turn without a diving like that. And I think it's a weight issue. Huh. Well, that's uneven. <clears throat> oh, wait, no. That's supposed to be there. Because that diving bell is off center. All right. Getting tired. All right, so. I don't want to make it shorter because it would take away from its bladiness. <clears throat> it wouldn't be as bladed. And I, I want it to be as bladed as possible. Extra blades, all the blades, most bladedly. Maybe do this. Hey, hey, why are you doing that? Stop. Stop. Don't be such a freaking pain in my ass. Your kids never listen to you, goddammit. Your kids never listen to you when you tell them what to do. I say, stop rocking back and forth. You're still rocking back and forth already. Come on. What I gotta do? Take your freaking screens away? There we go. Look at that. 
<laughs> now we're cooking. We're cooking with gas. Look at that. We didn't dip in. Look at that. And our freaking front little fin things are helping us turn. Look at this. Look at this. We're doing it like the pros now. This is good. Okay. We're saving this one. All we had to do was threaten to take away its screens. God damn it. Freaking kids never listen. <laughs> Tidal Blade. Go, go, go. All right, now this one can be deleted. No, wait, 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 wait. Just to make sure. Deleted. There we go. This is our guy, right? Yeah. Let's see if it stops rocking on its own over time. Or if it can't stop rocking like ZZ Top. <laughs> I think it did. I think it I think it leveled out. I think it leveled out and uh, came up to speed on its own. Let's just see. Oh yeah, it does the thing. Then can we just turn regular without being dicks about it? Oh yeah, we can. Pretty much. I mean, if you're wild about it, it goes a little nuts. But it's the tidal blade. And that's a fact. That's a fact, Jack. That's a fact. Let's bring it back. Maybe put another gimbal on the seat area. Maybe put two down here. Uh, you know, how much do those weigh? Oh, we're at 700. Mm. That's a heavy boat, Jack. That's a heavy boat. What we got here? It's still good. We're fine. Just to make sure, I don't know if I did anything. I'm not really paying attention to what I'm doing right now. I should be, but I'm not. Uh, yeah. And save. Save. All right. And then, uh, so I think, <clears throat> so I think, let's see, go to workshop real quick. Uh, let's see, my uploads. Did I upload this at all yet? Where's the thing? Is my freaking cursor not here? Where's my cursor, bitch? What the fuck are you doing to me? All right, fine. I'll use my mouse. Uh, let's see. I don't see it. One boat. Two boat. Three boat. Four boat, wait. Wait, what am I counting? One, two, three, four, yes. Four boats. No tidal blade. Okay. So then we gotta upload the tidal blade. And we do this. And then we do this. Tidal Blade from Hydro Thunder. Oop.
Here we go. Done deal. All right. So then let's compare uh, top speed with our other guys here. Let's just go around the let's just go around the place. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh yeah, man, it's freaking way early where you're at. Do your thing. You're like. There's gotta be there's two or three over there. What time, let's see what time it is. Yeah, it's just come up on like 2.15 where you're at probably, something like that. That's early. That's an early day. Whoa, we're diving. We didn't want to dive, but we dove. All right, let's just spin. If we spin, it'll uh, it'll help level us out, and we're not rocking back and forth. All right. That's not bad. Son of a whole shit. Yeah, I can't make it through there. Our freaking spoiler's too fat. Hold on. I bet I can do that. Hold on. We're going for the trick shots. E thoughts and trick shots. Crapkins the brave. Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. There's no e-thoughts here. <laughs> Damn it. Just slam my ass right into that son of a bitch. What do we gotta do? <laughs> what do we gotta do? Captain Crunch is a good one. This one time, I ate a whole bunch of Captain Crunch. Oh, no, no, no. Never mind. No, no, no. That was Fruit Loops. Tell you what. It's made out of the same stuff. Don't eat dry cereal in great quantities, or you'll be sorry. And I'm telling you, it's a real thing. You will shred, you will shred yourself in the worst places. And you just won't even, it's not a good shred. You're not going to end up looking like freaking Bruce Lee shredded. We're talking like you're going to end up in a lot of pain. Don't eat dry cereal in large quantities. I ate a whole box of Fruit Loops dry to my fucking head one time. And I tell you, I tell you, six hours later, I was hurting, bro. Hurting. Hurting. Not good stuff. You don't want to do that. You don't want to do the dry cereal. You don't want to do that to yourself. Oh, so bad. So bad. That's how you know what childbirth feels like. It's not good. It's not good. It's not good. It's really puts things in perspective. <laughs> it's an awful day. It's an awful day. It's not good. can't make it through that. There's no way. No, 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 no. Not going to do the thing. We have to stop so we can repair. Really? Spinning? Spinning? We don't count. This doesn't count as stopping? You bastard. Oh, yeah. Suffer a whole lot. I was living with a roommate at the time. He heard me crying. He was like, are you okay? I was like, oh. <laughs> it's bad news. It's all bad news.
cutting in a little in the front. I really need to uh, to address that. It's cutting in way too much. Hmm. I don't really know what I could do about that at this point. Maybe move these up. That's about it. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Yeah, whole box. Whole box. Bad news. Bad news bears. There's bad news bears. No Billy Bob Thornton. This is a whole bad episode. Extra gimbals in the front help. Until we start going wild, then we just gotta slow down. We gotta get control. By wiggling, I guess. We just gotta wiggle, 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 wiggle. There we go. She's a reckless girl. She's reckless. A little wet and reckless, they might say. I think those gimbals are actually hurting more with the with the bullshit. Let's reduce our uh, stabilizers. Let's find all those. And let's bring them up. Uh, one, two. Okay. Let's see what we got here. That's a lot. That's a lot of stabilizers, Tony. Let's, uh, let's take out, let's take out this one and this one, and then see if that evens out our weight. I bet these are affecting our weight as they're stabilizing. Thanks! Yeah. I love this one. The freaking the freaking back's my favorite part there. Oh now we're just now we're just porpoising. Great. Porpoises. Nope. We're doing more harm than good now. Hey, how's it going, Green? We're finalizing some uh, stuff here. I think the tidal blade's done. It's done enough uh, for a good version of one, and it's on the Steam Workshop as of tonight. And wait, did I did I do that? Did I finalize that? Let me see. I think I did. I'm not really paying attention to what I'm doing. Yeah, there it is. There's my title blade, right? Voila. And uh, yeah, we're good. So then. Hair. Oh, level out, level out, level out. Stop bobbing. And it eventually stops doing that. And uh, gets up to speed. And then we're in good shape. Yeah, this thing This thing has this giant spoiler on the back And you know what, I think it does more harm than good To be honest But it definitely is 
uh, conversation piece there. Ooh, that was a good clip. I think we'll put that in the highlights back there. Going through that, going through that little ring. Ooh, do it, do it, do the turn, do the turn. Oh, we went under. You bastard. Why you gotta do me so dirty? I didn't like that. I didn't like that. that a tight turn. I think I'm going to bring those blades up in the front. Uh, let's see. No. No, because if I do that, it's not going to be it's not going to be the title blade. It's going to be it's going to be a different bow. It's got to be there. Alright, so then switch to this one. Gearbox boat B2. Let me check it out. Or let me do this first, and then I'll check it out. Let's see. I'm here between this guy and my other one. So I think this guy got like 135 or some shit. Stop diving. Big ninny. Uh, and let's see, we've got 130, I saw 137, but it's not, it's not stable, so 133, 134, cutthroat here, is that, uh, yeah, I can only see Steam Workshop builds right now, cutthroat's at one, just like at under 130. Just under. Oh, we're hitting it. We're hitting 130 on the on the head there. Just just edging it. Just edging it in. Yeah, Cutthroat's really great. This came out awesome. I took special time on the decals trying to make them look as, as close to it, as close to the way it does in the game as I could. <coughs> Alright, so let's uh, let's touch land. Alright, well now we can Thing. That's going 130. And Banshee. Let's see, let's see. Boost. Banshee has a variable set to A on the controller. And it helps for turns. This is a good one. 133. Let's see. Oh yeah, Banshee's pretty fast. This one flies. And it also has variable boost. Um, this this wants to fly if you let it. This is actually the slowest no. <laughs> what? <laughs> no way. 
<laughs> with that crazy rocket on the back too. All right, hold on. Let's see if we. Let's see. Yeah, it just takes off. It's like I'm a plane. <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna do? I know. It's disappointing. I think we need gimbals, honestly. I think we need I think that's I think that's what this sucker needs to get to get to where it, it needs to go. I have this here, but that's not doing the trick. So we'll put on some gimbals and see if that does the trick. There we go. I'm going to set these. Yeah, uh, actually, we're just going to set these to that and bring them, bring it, bring it up off the, off the water. The rad hazard, the one that looks like a UFO. <laughs> it's so sick. Those gimbals are too far forward. I need to find somewhere else for these. I think back here. There's a spot back here, I think. Or there's a cavity. Yeah, it's right there. So I can put these in actually like this. And they should still do the gimbling. Let's see, where's the other one? Nope, not you. You. Nope, not you. The boo box. Come on, that'd be a pain in the ass. There. Is it this way? Yeah. And then, is that lined up right? No. It's not. Let's see. What we got to do? Bring it in. One, two. Is that right? Hold on. I don't think that's right. Let me see. No, it's not right. This is too far over. It needs to be over here. Take a peek and look through with configurator. It looks like they're lined up. Let's do the thing. And we're coming up to speed. It's not bad. Thanks. Yeah, I try. I try to. That banshee, man, <clears throat> it's not doing the thing. It's too heavy in the butt. It's too heavy in the butt with the butt right there. So, uh, we're just gonna have to delete it. Oh well. We can always put, you know, this back here and uh, center it, but it just won't have the same feel, unfortunately. I think it's just that that weight is just uh, just keeping us. 
Well, actually, no, because otherwise we're going to freaking take flight. You know what we should do? We should take off these damn tail fins and see if that helps. So let's go back. Let's just go back and keep going back, keep going back, and just keep going back, back in time, like Pitbull. Where are we going? There it is. There we go. And then, uh, yeah, it's being stubborn. I think it doesn't like that I haven't taken it out in a while. We're getting less lift on the front. I think we are. We're getting less lift on the front there. Less lift. Uh, is bad though because see we're not we're not keeping speed. Damn it! Just can't do that thing. All right. Um, stabilizer. Do we have one? Because we should probably have one. You know how how we can find out if we have one just by putting one in there and then selecting it. Uh, no, we don't have one. And that sucks, because we need one. So let's put somewhere. No. What's in here? Here? Yeah. There we go. And then what we'll do is we'll set these to 10. Yeah. For sure. Uh, and we'll take off that toggle. We don't want that toggle on it. No, not space thruster, you damn buffoon. Here, there, and there, and is that helping? You know, that turning is super slow. Banshee, you're a has-been. We gotta fix that. We gotta pump you up. We gotta get you back in shape. Get you out there on the mat. Rough and tumble. We gotta get you, get you going. We got in here. Waste of time. That's what we got. We gotta waste of time, Banshee. We'll put, uh, hmm. more gimbals. I got a fever. No, back here. I don't want to see you. I don't want to see you as much. Let's just put some of these in there. No, no, no. That's not going to do it. It's not going to make it look good. Nothing's going to make it look good at this point. But we know what we need? These. We need those. That's what we need. Right on, man. Have a great one. Thanks for joining. Always with Pumpy in here. Thanks for the engagement. Dig it. And I'm glad you had a good birthday. Oh. 
Alright, we got steering. We're gonna set those to be a little higher than that. That is not a good steering uh, strength there. We need to do the thing. Do the thing a little more than that. Are we fighting each other? Is that what's happening? Hold on a second. What, where are my guys? Okay. Are we fighting each other? Yes, we are. God damn it. I knew it. Now it's frickin' backwards. And still fighting each other. Cause I'm dumb. How about now? Yeah, now we're cooking. This should have all the frickin' power in the world. Yet it tells me to go screw myself with vigor. Vigorously tells me to go screw myself. Nope, not great. Like those, if I point those down, like from the water side or from the top side. Let's see. That might work. So if I turn this. that yeah I like it I like it let's try that oh I dig that dude thank you that is cooking Mr. Green, you're the man, Mr. Green. F and A. Look at this guy. Coming in the chat with the best ideas. Come on. Friggin' A. Alright, Mr. Green. For that one, you get to choose which boat I do next. Not the rad hazard. Any boat. Any boat from Hydro Thunder. Tell me, and I will do the thing for you. This is awesome. You're the guy. Oh, whoa. <laughs> so great.
Is there enough room to put another layer of these in here? Oh, no, not really. Oh, yeah. I could do... Okay, yes. Okay, no. No, there's not. There is no. But, uh, no. Nope. And no. No and no. Uh, no. Not you either. You. Uh. Okay. Getting frustrated. Doing things wrong. There we go. So, let's, let's try. No, because that's still not going to give me enough room. It's just, it's just going to create the same, it's going to create the same goddamn dynamic I have here anyway. Uh, oh, I think one can fit there. Let's try it. Will it fit? Uh, no, will not fit there. Okay. Hmm. Trying to squeeze a little more juice into the goose. Maybe right here. Is that enough? No, that's just one block. Hmm. Not enough. But now that I have those props facing downward, I bet I don't need these to push me downward anymore. Come on, you bastard. Are you not doing it because you don't want to, or is it because there's no space? Let's just worry about placing one, and I'll copy the other one in. Oh, there we go. That worked. We're set to RT. Good. <coughs> Let's try that. Is that bringing us up to speed? Oh, no. That definitely was helping. We need to undo all that shit. We're just going to... Uh, yeah. We're going to delete this and go into history and print up that last one. Because, nope. Mm, nope. Uh, yeah. Not that one. This one. Pretty sure. Aerodynamic blocks on the inside. So bring up drag and check the inside. That's a lot of drag, Tony. Think you're onto something there. Think you're onto something there. Um, okay. Let's let's try putting something like this in there. Wait, where was that? Was that in the main? That was in the main guy.
What is that right here? I think it was right there. I don't know. Maybe we could, um, wait, let's see, where's the most, where's the most drag? Uh, where's the most touching of the water? Let's put two of those downward facing ones over in the front. Copy one of these over here, and then uh, put it in position, and then uh, let's just do this. Let's do that right there. Let's try that. Let's see if that works. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's getting us there. We don't want to go too far over 130. We want to be around 130. This is looking good. We need one more. So we double that right now. Down here. Dude, you're the man. Coming up with this solution is the coolest. Coolest way to solve this problem. Let's bring uh, this for one, two, three, four, right? One, two, three, four, right? yeah. And then double that up like so. And blends right in. No one has to be the wiser. Let's kick on our afterburner. And now we're kicking with gas. Look at that, 133. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do any better if you tried. We are matching speed with our fastest boats right now. The Banshee's really doing it. Thank you, Mr. Green. To the man. Let's try to put our wings back. Let's do that. Let's put our, let's put our fins back on. Damn, it's getting cold in here. Gotta turn my heater on. Hope that heater's not too loud. There we go. What? 410? All right, I gotta check that out. I gotta check that out like ASAP. We gotta do the thing. All right, we're not slowing ourselves down. It still looks the same and we're doing good. All right, so I'm gonna save this and then we're gonna check out your boat. I'm gonna do it right now. Uh, no, I meant to. There. Save as. There we go. All right, now we can delete this one. Okay, now, uh, all right, so it's called the gearbox. Okay, got it. Let's see if it should come up with this.
All right, it did. It, uh, it gearbox boat V two. Here we go. Hey, that's you. All right, you're gonna subscribe. Look at that freaking beast. It's like if the Knight Rider and Batmobile. <laughs> oh no, uh, he had a boat. If the if Knight Rider and the Bat boat made a baby, this freaking dude. What the hell? All right. Let's print this up. What's this? What's this? What? Look at that. Freaking sick. All right, hold on. Ah! Look at that. What did you do? <laughs> Hell yeah. That's a boat and a half. That's a good boat. That's a good boat right there. <laughs> this is actually not a boat. This is a water race car. This is a freaking what the hell. This is so dope. <laughs> that is so sick. That was fun. That was fun to do. We're way off the map. Let's bring it a little closer to home here. Oh, this is a fine time. This is a good one. Damn! Oh, yeah. It flies. Did you know it flies? <laughs> Holy shit. I was going to try to go through the canyon. <laughs> it was like, no, you're not doing that today. <laughs> this irresponsibly quick, dude. <laughs> this is a freaking hazard. This is so dope. <laughs> this is definitely, I'm, I'm definitely going to take some, some design pointers from you on this. Yeah. The balance is insane. I dig that. I see what you did there, and I definitely appreciate it. With the logic blocks and the helicopter engines. I find that helicopter engines, damn it are my preferred uh, for that type of stuff usually too. Um, and I found that they, they seem to go a little bit faster when you double them up like that than, uh, than like a servo would. In fact, I think I used helicopter engines like that in my um, Sith, my Sith uh, infiltrator build. Oh, okay. Whoa! Wasn't paying attention. Look at for texting and driving. That's a that's a whole mess. <laughs> that was great, dude. Good job. That's a nice boat. That's a fun time. All right. So let's uh, let's update the banshee. I think I know how to do that. So I go to workshop. <coughs> I open up the workshop. I go, my uploads. Now it's deciding to work for me. What an ass. And I think I select it, right? And then edit, right? And then I go here, I think. And then I... Are these... Yeah, these are just my regular blueprints. Okay. Wow, that's some old shit in here. 
These are these are old. So old. That is the pre puffin. This is the precursor to the puffin right here. And then I and then I made the puffin. Uh was it that one or this one? It was one of them. Alright, anyways, walk down memory lane. I select this one and I submit. Alright? And that should do the thing. Okay. Now. Now here's the test. I don't know if that worked. So, uh, we're going to go to Blueprints and print out the Banshee. And we're going to speed test and performance test it real quick. Oh, you know what? We don't have to. We can just look at the butt. That's all we got to do. Look at the damn butt. The butt's totally different now. Different butt. Tell you what. I'm not even subscribed to my own freaking boat. I think I see them. I think I think I think I see them pointing down right there. I think it's good. Let's uh let's do the thing. Close it. Bada bing. And then we will uh delete. All right? Yeah. And then uh workshop. Is it just not here yet? I probably have to deselect and reselect. There it is, yeah. That's our guy. That's our guy right there. I updated it. <laughs> the boy can do things. Look at that. Now I'm a real boy. This is great actually. I can I can update stuff instead of just putting on another thing and spamming the workshop with my builds. This is awesome. So yeah, that's done. Thank you so much for your help. That's amazing. It's good stuff. And then uh, we can move on to, let's see, these are my workshop builds. We can move on to the cutthroat. Let's double check that this guy is doing the thing. Get a hyperspeed go-kart. Damn, I'll check that out too. I'll take that to the race island one time. I want to get these guys dialed in though. Oh, I think I already verified this one's good. I think this one goes 133, 134. I think we already did the thing for this guy. Oh no, this one's at 130, like exactly. Okay, fine. That's fine. That's totally serviceable. 100% good. We're good. Um... I don't know if that is up to date though. So I will update it anyway. Uh, my uploads, and then I find the guy. And then I go edit, and then I go edit, then I find the guy again, and submit. <clears throat> okay, done. Uh, now, back to the workshop, okay. Uh, uploads. This one specifically definitely needs to get uh, updated because it doesn't have boosters and the new one does. How are you going to do it? No boosters. Test area. Oh, we're going to need that much free space. Okay. <laughs> it's super. It's super good then. Right on. <laughs> Edit. Uh, and then we're going to go here and we're going to get this guy. And it's got the boosters on it. You can see them. Ready to rock. Submit. And this one actually doesn't need very many. It just needs two. 
Um, and the others. <laughs> the other boats are so damn over engineered. And this one just needs to. Alright, so Tidal Blade's brand new on there. That doesn't need anything. Banshee got updated. Cutthroat got updated. Uh, and Razorback got updated. Good deal. Let's double check. With the Razorback. I'm not even subscribed to my own freaking boats, man. I gotta change that. I gotta subscribe to all of them right now. Wait. What? I have those. I don't know. Maybe I didn't subscribe to them anyways. I don't know. Uh, so we got the Razorback. Subscribe. Uh, we've got this one. Oh, the Banshee. I have to update this one. Or misbehave, I mean. I have to update this one. So edit. So edit. Uh, this. And then. Come on. Why aren't you doing the thing for me? I don't have time for that. Wait. Yeah. There we go. So, let's see. Workshop. I got those three. I need the... Okay. Tidal Blade. Wait, so I have Razorback, Banshee, Misbehave, I need Tidal Blade, and Cutthroat. Okay. There. Now we're subscribed to our own shit. There we go. They're all right there. We can test them, make sure they're what we want on the, on the Steam Workshop. Let's double check this guy here. I don't know if I did that right. Stop jumping up and down already. I think this is the one. If not, I just made a boo boo. Oh well. No, we're good. We're good. We can turn. I'm doing the turning. That's not bad. A little Tokyo drifted in the end there, but we're alright. Yeah, we're good. Just ease up off the gas for a second. We, uh, correct. Not bad. Okay, cool. And then let's double check our razor back. And we are in the Steam Workshop builds. Good deal, good deal. This one's just stupid quick. Irresponsibly fast. 
I think it's also a little smaller than some of them. It's, it's definitely less complex. That helps it go. That helps it do the thing for sure. Uh, next change for this guy is going to be some good decals. I think I think the decals are lacking, uh, as in there aren't any, except for the one for the fan uh, above the cockpit, like that. That's just the one decal I have on this whole thing. Um, I could definitely do more. And now that I'm figuring out how to do those a little better, we should. We should put the time in. Do it right. That's good. This means Whoa. Snap. That's crazy. That's just irresponsibly fast. Holy crap. Now we're playing Hydro Thunder. We're jumping. Good stuff. Whoa. We should have crashed back there for sure. That should have hit. <laughs> We're jumping sharks like the fawns. All right, this guy's good. This guy's done. We have verified that is good to go. Uh, the Banshee was one of the first done. Tidal blade. Let's double check. Tidal blade's good. And if there's anything else that we can do to fix tidal blade, <clears throat> we should do that and then put it up again. I know. I know what we'll do to keep that damn nose from dipping in. We'll, we'll do that new trick you taught me. With the, the props underneath here. I'm getting tired. Oh, that is a two? <clears throat> okay. All right, I'm gonna do this, and then I gotta end the stream because I gotta wake up early in the morning. Well, I gotta wake up at a regular time in the morning. Uh, so, I'm gonna do that. Wait. Those aren't right. Are they? Wait a minute. Yeah, they are. Okay, good. That's way more stable. And it's fast. It's not doing nearly as much rocket back and forth. And are we maintaining our high speed? Let's see. Are we getting up to speed? Yes, we are. 130, I saw it. There we are, 130. Good deal. I bet... I bet it would benefit us to do the same thing with those hanging off the back there. Let's try this. Let's see if this gives us more speed or less. What am I looking at here? Oh, conflictions. We are conflicted. Conflicted haters. Full of haters. Hmm. Let's get rid of that. Get rid of this. And that. Yeah. That. 
this, and that. There. And that, and there. Let's try that. Whoa. That rocketed my butt out of the water. I think... Yeah, we're definitely going faster. I think that's good. We need to be careful on the launch. He's up to it for sure. But once we get speed, like that's, that is it. Minimal drag. We're barely in the water at all. That is a freaking trick and a half there, Mr. Green. That is a trick and a half. All right, let's get the tidal blade back up there because now it's got a faster top speed, geez. Nice. All right, so let's go over here to our blueprints. Oh, we gotta save this. Save it. Save. Uh, and then we go over to our workshop. And then we go uh, my uploads. And then I find my title blade here. Uh, and I select it. And I edit it. There we go. And I think I see, I think I see the downward facing one right now. Looks like it's doing what it's supposed to do. Uh, and now what I can do is I can double check that, uh, delete this, and then go into here and make sure that this is the guy. It's not the guy. What? Hold on. How about now? No, it's not the guy. That's not what I built. Alright, damn it. We gotta do that again. I don't know what happened. Let's just double check. Workshop builds. Tidal Blade. Yeah, this isn't the one. It's supposed to look like that. I did it wrong. I did it wrong and I'm stupid. Hold on. Yeah, we save it. Okay. There. So yeah, it's saved. No. That's the wrong damn one. There. We save it. And then uh, we go... Workshop. Alright, and then my uploads. Title blade, edit, edit. It's this one, you freaking chode. I can see the thing right there. I don't know why it's giving me such a freaking hard time about this. I swear I did this before. All right, it says it's successful.
Come on. So Tidal Blade off the Steam Workshop. Why are you such an asshole? I don't understand what I'm doing wrong, but this fucking thing is not changing. For some reason, I'm updating it, and it's not updating. So... That's frustrating. Because it's not supposed to look like that. It's supposed to look like this. And you can see this when I'm updating it. You can see the damn thing. And it looks like this. Because you can see those sticking off the butt. In the picture. So I don't know if it just takes a while or what. But it's not doing what I want it to do. No. Well, yeah, see, that one has it. Or maybe it doesn't. No, it does, because those are sticking off of the belly. Huh. What a weird what a weird turn of events. Maybe it just needs time, I don't know. No, it's all wrong. Maybe I'll try again tomorrow. That was definitely not supposed to be that way. Yeah, it's supposed to be like that. And you can see those. You can see those on the, on the Steam Workshop thumbnail. So it's either having a hard time updating uh, people's stuff, or I don't know. Maybe next time I, I launch the game, it'll be there. Maybe it has to download it and apply it. I don't know. It'd be great if this thing could make the turns, but it just can't. Can't make the turns through this small. Whoa, and here we go. Now I'm flying too in my boat. Damn. Oh, yep. That's, that's a thing that's happening now. Yay. Pass, pass on the whole flying boat experience right now. Pretty frustrated from the banshee about that. <laughs> All right. Looking good. Got this going. I'm gonna take this to Race Island real quick, actually, and then I'll and then I'll cut the cut the stream after that what time is it 123 come on already um yeah single player race islands here we go. Let's do a race. Or actually just let's just uh let's just drive around the island and get some good clips. And then I'll take those clips 
and I'll put together a nice little montage tomorrow. Or the next day, some shit, I don't know. Whenever I get the next opportunity. Gonna have a, gonna have a busy next couple of days. That was frustrating. What's in my, uh... Oh, I don't have anything in my quick transform menu, because I don't think there is one. I don't think there is one in this mode. If there is, I'm not seeing it. Uh, yeah, so I guess, I guess we'll start out with this one. Why not? Get some good shots of all five of them, and then we'll call it a night. Bad. Things just cruising along. Thanks to our new Mr. Green engine that it has. Not bad. Not a bad time. This was giving me the most trouble with the steering, too. Now it is not. Now it is great. Frickin' perfect. Oh, cut in a little bit again. Not, not great. That I don't like that cut in. Went a little too wild with it. All right, Tidal Blade, I see you. You're a loose cannon. I see you. All right. That's good. Bastard. Had to hit the frickin' rock. The one rock. The one rock there is to hit. Nope. Not that time. Oh, uh, we restarted here. Dumb. I don't know what I thought was gonna happen. But I didn't think that was gonna happen. Bad. That was some good turning through that area back there. We didn't, we didn't dip under, we didn't flip or anything. That was great. Maintaining pretty good speed too. Pretty good. All around, not a bad. 
bad experience. Not a bad boat. Especially now. Whoa, and that's how we ended that. Alright. Let's bring it back up. Getting tired. To me, this boat is the greatest. It's not the very fastest. But as far as aesthetics go, it's just freaking tops. And the handling's really good. Cannot deny. We did this without the Mr. Green engine, too. This is all just. This is all just know how. Wow, yeah. We blew up real bad. didn't like to drift. It was like, I'm just going to cut in. We're going to cut that drift real early. So that, it just cuts in. It's like, you know what? We're going to drift, but only like for so far. <laughs> it's like, it's pretty business oriented. That's a nice close turn. That's a good one. This boat does not leave very much left to improve. It's pretty good. We're going to cut that here, and we're going to go on to the misbehave. Getting nice and tired. Eyes are getting heavy. Alright. We're definitely more stable with the thrusters on. Getting our nose down. Still hitting that nice 134 mark. It's beautiful. Turns aren't bad. A little drifting. Not so not so terrible. We do a nice 180. Does she correct herself? Yes she does. Look at that nicely. Correct herself very nicely. And just bring her about. She should do the same thing on the way back. Misbehave is dialed in. Dialed in tight. Uh, let's get our last boat out here. This is uh, our last boat and the first boat that we ever made the Razorback. Uh, this boat is just crazy. Let's see? It's like, yeah, we'll do this quite some time and then we'll level out and go stupid fast just irresponsibly fast and it only has two boosters like that's the craziest thing is that the, the two boosters there are doing all this 
nuts. I wonder what would happen if I flipped two of these, like Mr. Green. Let's see. Let's uh, put one there. One there. There. Good deal. Uh, and now let's try that. Oh, snap. It does way less uh, bullshitting around, for sure. Let's gradually get up to speed and see what our top speed is without porpoising around. Let's see. One, oh, it still wants to. That adds an interesting dynamic to this boat. I'm not sure I like it. It's putting too much juice in the back of the goose. I just want it to self-correct and stop bobbing up and down and like trying to try and get it to do it. It seems to just want to do it anyway. So then, in that case, Well, that didn't do what I wanted it to do. There. Let's just do that. Jesus. All right. Hold on. No. We're not doing ourselves any favors. We're slowing ourselves down because they're... In this boat, those don't work great. Not for this one. Not for this one. And that's a that's a way more stable ride, you know. Uh, tell you what, let's try this instead. Let's move this out. And do this with it, and just stick that right there. And that should just that should just do enough, right? Or is it just way too much still? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's not get too carried away. I was thinking that would help push our nose down. What do we level out at? Feels worse. Feels worse. Feels like we're not there. 
So, it's all good. Um, this, this is fine to be left alone. We don't need to mess with the Razorback. Razorback's good to go. Good old Razorback. America. All right, guys. That's gonna wrap it up for the night. We had some good boats in the mix today. That was good. Uh, I hope this was good for you. It was good for me. Uh, if it's not good for you, let me know. Uh, tell me what you want me to do different. Tell me what boats you want me to make for the Hydro Thunder series. I'm getting tired. Um, tell me all the things. Tell me what your fucking favorite color is. Whatever. I don't care. Tell me what your stuff is. Tell me all the things about stuff. Uh, yeah. And then next time, uh, next time we get together, we'll be doing... Day. I think Tuesday is going to be our next stream. It's probably going to be Trailmakers again. So I'll see you next Tuesday for Trailmakers. Uh, and then let me know uh, what boat I should make next. So we've got five boats from Hydro Thunder. And I uh, can't wait to make more. I want to do all of them. Uh, so let me know which one to do next. Uh, as long as it's not the Rad Hazard, I'm saving that till last. All right. Um, if you're at work, I hope you're pooping on the clock. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. Uh, if you're sick, I hope you start to feel better immediately. Uh, and until next time, I will catch you guys on the flip.